My name is Jamie Smiley. I'm from Exlam South Africa. We are a manufacturer of cross-laminated timber based in Cape Town, South Africa. Uh, we were the first manufacturer of cross-laminated timber in South Africa and have played a key role in implementing the standards and helping it become a recognized building material in South Africa. It is a SABS or SAN certified material, so it is a standard building material. The panels are very, very strong and with this building process you can build on an industrial scale, a green industrial scale. Some of the larger buildings that they have done internationally are up to 25 and 30 stories high. The timbers that we use and that are used in the subsidy project are all locally sourced. So we try and do everything as much as possible locally. Um, this also plays into the green credentials of the material. Uh, all of our timber comes from the Southern Cape region, so it's four to five hours away from us. Uh, comes straight from the sawmills to us, and then we manufacture in our facility to make the panels. Uh, we have a vacuum press, which allows us to do panels which are up to 8.2 meters long and 2.7 meters wide and ranging from thicknesses of 66 mil to 200 mil. This is a panel that's being laid up at the moment for pressing. Uh, when we do the pressing, the layers go at 90 degrees to each other, hence cross-laminated. So it's cross-laminated timber. So we stack all of the timbers in in one direction, then we put the adhesive layer in, next layer of timber in the next direction, adhesive layer depending on how many uh, layers you need and thicknesses. Then the press is closed up and it becomes an airtight uh, cylinder. Uh, we then vacuum down the uh, panel um, and then this is about a two hour pressing cycle that we work on. And then when the panels come out, they come out as uh, rough billets or master panels as we call them. Uh, this is a stack of master panels. These are panels for the subsidy project. So you can see when they come out, they look a little bit rough. Uh, there's glue squeezed out from the edges. Uh, some glue comes out of the tops. Uh, this is a good thing. So this shows you that the adhesive has gone through the entire panel. Um, and these panels, the master billets, are oversized to allow us to cut uh, the specific finished panels from these. So the step that gets the panels from a rough panel to a finished panel is our uh, machining and cutting processes. Cutting such large panels is a complicated thing to do, uh, especially with the lengths to try and get these within the fractions of millimeters of tolerances that are required for construction. We use a industrial robot system that we have adapted for cutting CLT. Um, this allows us to cut different shapes, to put rebates into the panels, to cut openings. This is all done through the robot. Cross-laminated timber has very high green credentials. The process of forestry has kind of a double effect when we use it, the timber in construction industry. Um, when trees grow, they produce oxygen, so they are scrubbing carbon from the, the environment and from the atmosphere. Um, and then when they are felled and turned into a building material, it actually captures the carbon. So you've got kind of this double action where we are uh, scrubbing carbon while it's growing and then capturing carbon. Uh, and this is very different to most other building materials where the embodied energy in these materials is very high. The embodied energy in timber is very low because of this. So with a well-designed project, you can get a carbon neutral, if not carbon negative project. Um, and that's the ideal uh, that we are striving for.